Today's challenge is inspired by the crazy heat we've been having here in New England. It's perfect smoothie weather. Admittedly, I have always been a big fan of smoothies, but for some reason I just haven't jumped on the smoothie train yet this summer. So I'm going to challenge you and myself to get on that and enjoy a smoothie for either breakfast, lunch, or even dinner if you wanna have it as a smoothie bowl, I think that that's fine. But here are the requirements for your smoothie. Use an unsweetened plant-based milk, like unsweetened almond milk or unsweetened coconut as your base. Even water would be fine, but I think that it's nice to give it a little additional creaminess from the nut milks. Then I want you to add greens, kale or spinach are best, and I think spinach is even less detectable than kale, so if you are kind of worried about tasting greens in your smoothie, go with spinach, because it will blend up more easily and it will be a smoother overall flavor, depending on the power of your blender as well. Next, add some frozen berries, blueberries, strawberries, or raspberries. Then I want you to include some flaxseed, chia seed, or hemp seed. And optional, if you have a protein powder at home that you like, you can include a scoop of protein powder as well. Now, in addition to those things, you can add some extra healthy fats if you're particularly hungry and you want this smoothie to really fill you up and last a long time. You can use avocado or a nut butter, like almond butter or peanut butter. And that's it. Yeah, you know, there are additional add-ins. You can get really fancy with smoothies, but that's a good basic one. You can do a little bit of, you know, half a banana or even a whole banana if you want the extra sweetness and resistant starch. You can add a date if you want a little bit of extra sweetness, but outside of that, berries are sweet, so you don't really need to go crazy with any sweeteners in a smoothie. So that's your challenge. Enjoy a smoothie and see how it feels for you, especially if it's not something that you typically eat as a meal. Let it be breakfast, lunch, or dinner and see how it serves you and how it gets you through your day. So that's your smoothie challenge. Let me know how it goes. And I'd also love to hear which challenges you've enjoyed best. Do you prefer the physical challenges, the more mental, emotional challenges, or do you enjoy more of the food challenges? And leave me a comment on that. Happy smoothie challenge. I'll talk to you all soon.